What's up guys? So for this week's video I'm going to be filming a story time and this is like my fourth time trying to film this video so hopefully I get it right this time. But um, today is going to be a story time about a situation that happened to me about a week ago and I'm going to try to keep this decently short because it's not that like crazy of a story so I don't need to really make it super long. Like it is a, a crazy enough story but it's not super like it doesn't need to be 40 minutes long so basically um if you follow me on twitter instagram or musically you would know that i went to the day and night tour featuring zach clayton johnny orlando mackenzie ziegler and lauren orlando so um i went to that like i said about a week ago and the, the tour was great but before the tour um, you know, something crazy happened. So, um, I was going to this show with the expectation that nothing crazy was going to happen to me. But, you know, it's me, so, like, that would never work out. So, um, I bought a gift for Johnny and Zach. I bought a teddy bear for both of them. And I, my mom dropped me off at the venue. I'm not going to say the name of the venue because I'm just not. But my mom dropped me off at the venue and left to go to our hotel room. And I left the teddy bears in my mom's car. So I called her and I was like, yo mom, like, can you bring them back? So she bought the teddy, bear, teddy bears back and I went down and grabbed them out of the car. Well, um, after this point is where my life went insane so um I am currently trying to find my way back to the venue where the show was and in process of me trying to find out where the show is I get lost like I mean to try and find out where the venue is I get lost so now I'm in the middle of this place that I have no clue where I am and I'm freaking out so I'm walking up to all these people and I'm like, can you get me, can you help me get back to the venue that I'm trying to go to for this show? And I had VIP, so I was on a time schedule and I needed to be back there by 4 o'clock. And at this point it was like 3.30ish. So I needed to hurry up and find my way back to this venue. Or it was like 3 o'clock actually, let me be real. But I needed to find my way back to the venue, so... I'm asking everyone where I'm supposed to go, and they're like, hey, go this way. And I'm like, okay, so I keep trying to find my way, and I keep walking all these different directions, and I can't find where to go. So finally, I'm like, you know what? Okay, so I find this door that is supposed to lead me where I'm supposed to go. So um, quick thing before I finish the story is I was holding my iPhone 6 in my hand, during this because that is the most important part of this story so you need to know that so I proceed to walk out um t of this door but before I reach the door this man comes up to me and asks to borrow my phone and I say no because I need to get back to this venue for you know the meet and greet and stuff and I don't have time to like let you use my phone like I gotta go so instead of him being like okay that's fine he proceeds to, I try to walk, like, out the door because I need to get to the show. And in the middle of this, this guy grabs my phone out my hand and literally snatches it, like, away from me. And I'm like, okay, thank you. Like, thank you for snatching my phone. Appreciate it. So, he snatches my phone away. And at this point, I'm, like, still not catching on to what's happening. But I'm, like, kind of catching on at this point. So, he, um proceeds to walk out the door holding my literally like not even month old iPhone 6 and I am losing my mind and so he walks out the door proceeds to slip my phone into his pocket and run off just slips in his pocket and runs and I'm like okay thank you like I'm fixing to go to a meet and greet and you just stole my phone like thank you so much so, at this point, not only am I scared out of my mind, but I am PO'd. Like, I'm so mad at this point. This phone was not even a month old, and he just stole it. Like, thank you. So, I finally find my way back to the venue without a phone because my phone was taken. So, thank you. 
So I find my way back and I'm screaming, I'm crying, I'm scared, I don't know what to do. I'm like going everywhere. And the um, amazing man at this venue, um, he was like, come here real quick, come inside and let me talk to you. And I was like, okay. So like I said before, I had normal VIP, which was just the meet and greet to meet, you know, Zach, Johnny, Lauren, and Mackenzie. So he proceeds to call me into this building holding and when I walk through the door he's holding a lanyard now the ones for the VIP and the ones for the um ultimate VIP which is where you got to like hang out with them and stuff looked exactly the same so I'm like not catching on to what's happening and this guy puts his lanyard around my neck and I'm like oh like what are like what like what's going on and in front of me is the stage where the show was with all of the ultimate VIP people, and there was only like 11, I think, or 12, um, it wasn't a lot, and he points, and he's like, go over there, and I'm like, are you kidding me, like, so at this point, I'm shook, because he just told me that I get to go to ultimate VIP, which means I get to hang out with Zach, Johnny, Mackenzie, and Lauren for like over an hour, which is like amazing, so at this point, I'm crying, because I'm still shook from, you know, my phone getting stolen, but I'm also shook because he just told me I get to hang out with Zach. So I'm like, eh, lit. And so, yeah, that happens. And I go on with my night and I hang out with Zach and everything. And then I go back to my hotel and um, I drive home in the morning. And also, Zach put this ring on my finger um, while I was there. I bought it and then he, like, put it on and it's so cute. And I will not stop wearing it because I'm obsessed with Zach. So, yeah, um, I drove home the next morning without a phone because the guy, you know, stole it. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to tell you guys this story because the main point of this story is please, please be safe when you go places that aren't, like, places that you're used to. Um, because you never know. People are crazy and they'll do stuff to you that you never would really think they would do. So... Please just be protective of yourself and of others when you're in an unfamiliar environment. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys what happened with that. But, yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this story time. And I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, comment down below. And subscribe and turn on post notifications. And I will see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.